Really? How much? Oh, that's ridiculous. Andy, who are you talking to? I got a brand new invisible friend. What happened to Alvin the Crab Boy? Alvin was a disappointment. Why? Couldn't play catch, couldn't make a side of the bed. All I could really do was pitch. So who's your new friend? Sid. Sid Jacobson. Nice to meet you, Sid. So what kind of superhero is he? Sid's not a superhero, Mom. He owns a deli. Well, how old is Sid, honey? How old are you, Sid? 62 years young. We should all look that good at his age. Morning. Hi. Hey, shrimp. That reminds me. Sid wants everyone to know that he's having a special on shrimp salad. Five thirty-nine a pound. Five thirty-nine a pound? That's a real good... I need a vacation. Andy, stop. You're scaring your mom. Guess who loves me? I'm going to go with Barney the Dinosaur, but you love him too, right? <laughs> Melanie Kramer. Who? The most beautiful girl in the sophomore class. I can't believe you don't know who Melanie Kramer is. I'm sorry. I've been in Europe. She thinks I'm cute. Her word, not mine. Congratulations. Mazel tov. <laughs> She just broke up with her boyfriend. They've been gone together since the seventh grade. We all thought it was for life. But she told Shannon McDermott, who told somebody else, she thought I was cute. <laughs> so, Mom, think I should ask her to homecoming dance on Saturday? Mm, maybe you should wait a while and let her get over her boyfriend. Are you nuts? Now is the perfect time. She's like a wounded gazelle. <laughs> she needs time to heal. She's easy prey, even for you, Matt. I say go for it. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Trust me. Play it slow. Take her down. Mom, you're absolutely right. But I'm going with Joe. Joe, look, I know you just moved in and you really care about Matt a lot, but I would really appreciate it if you wouldn't undermine my intentions. What are you trying to say? Nobody likes a Budinsky. <laughs> Been out there on your own, maybe feeling all alone. But deep inside, I thought that you knew. No matter where you are, a part of me will always be with you. No matter where you are, a part of you will always be with me too. Hey. So, do you think it's serious? It could be. Let me just start it and see what I hear. No, 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 no. I will start it. You're a little greasy. <laughs> I work in a garage. What's his excuse? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. It sounds like your uh, timing's off. Well, if it's going to cost more than $500, my timing's definitely off. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> You have a phone I could use? Yeah, sure, there's one right there in the office. But uh, watch it, maybe a little greasy. <laughs> Why is it that the guys with the coolest cars are always so uncool? I don't know. Insurance reasons? <laughs> okay, there's only one way to judge a person. Let's go to the tape, shall we? Let's see. Ugh. Oh, building a new me. Taking control of me. <laughs> Making friends with me. <laughs> then there's some uh, Pearl Jam and stuff. Oh, I love Pearl Jam. No, no, wait. I love jam. So let me see. The guy drives a car that you can't afford and he's trying to improve himself. I can see how you'd be threatened by that. Gosh, Dr. Lou, you're right. And my stuttering, it's gone. <laughs> Thanks a lot for letting me use your phone, man. Cab should be here any second. Hi, I'm Russell Winslow. Hi. Hi. I'm Lou. Lou. Yeah, it's great to see a woman working in a garage. <laughs> Have you always wanted to be a mechanic? Well, it pays the bills. Huh? And it leaves me free at night to work on my art. Really? What do you do? Well, I started in oil, but I think metal sculpting is more my field. Metal sculpting? Very hot right now. <laughs> Especially after the De Suvero exhibit. Was that fantastic? Oh, please. Oh, I can't believe you didn't even know about that. Oh, uh, well, it's my business. I'm an art dealer. Excuse me. <clears throat> I gotta get a tool. Need a wrench? No, a shovel. 
I would really love to see your work sometime. Yeah, um, maybe I could bring something in. Good. Oh, that's that's my cab. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Thanks. It's my business to know. <laughs> I'm an art dealer. <laughs> You're an art dealer? Oh, my. I just Yeah, you know what? I thought he was nice. What'd you think of him, Lloyd? Boy, that was one slick cookie. See? Even Lloyd sees through him. No, no, I got some oil on my macaroon. <laughs> Hey. Hey. So Melanie said she'd go to the dance with me. Good. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If she's the one going to the dance with you, shouldn't she be the one depressed? I'm in trouble, Joe. Melanie's got expensive taste. Her ex-boyfriend's like the richest kid in the school. His grandfather invented wood or something. So? So? What's she gonna say when she's standing there in her gown and my mother and I drive up in a tow truck? Hey, Matt, it's not like you're gonna stick a hook in her nose and tow her to the dance. <laughs> Thanks for the constructive advice. All right, all right, cut me some slack here, right? I'm new with this Big Brother stuff. Look, um, if you want, I can take you two on my bike. Well, one at a time, anyway. Yeah, Joe, that's what I want to do with the girl I love. Put her on the back of a motorcycle with you. Oh, yeah, I can see your point. So, you see, I had no choice. I had to do it. But actually, it was Melanie's idea, and I think it's what got me to date. What? What got you to date? Renting a limo. I told Melanie I'd pick her up in a limo. Check out Richie Rich. Where'd you get the money to rent a limo? I got some saved. 160 bucks. Just enough. But, uh, I still need 20 bucks for the tickets. Could you help me out? Matt, I'm not gonna give you the 20 bucks. But you know what? I will give you some free advice. <laughs> Don't ever ask me for money. <laughs> Joe, the junk man is here. We need to load that scrap metal. Looks like you just got yourself a twenty dollar job, buddy. Thank you, Joe. And please don't tell mom about the limit. Look, it's your money. Do what you want with it. Oh, hey there, Jimbo. Car ready yet? Yeah, it's Joe. Oh, sorry. Joe Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Lou's finishing up right now. Uh, can I just talk to you for one second? Sure. Great. Hey, uh, you know Lou? Yeah. Well, she's a friend of mine. Yeah. Okay. And all I'm saying is that uh, she's a friend of mine. Hmm. Got it? So, what are you, a brother? No. Boyfriend? No? Got it. Hi. Hi. So, uh, who is that all about? Looks like you've got a protector. Oh, I don't believe him. Listen, I want to show you something I brought in from my studio. Hey, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Aha. Uh -huh. See, the transmission housing symbolizes the constraints placed on us by living in a commercialized society. Well, come here. The hubcaps actually reflect the viewer's face, thereby capturing their inherent participation in the dehumanizing charade of popular culture. Had a hell of a time getting it on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Death of Culture. It is brilliant. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> come here, look at it from this angle. Okay. It's beautiful. Well, you are the art dealer. Yes, I am. You know, I'd like to show it to some people. Uh, look, I'm, I'm having dinner this Saturday with the owners of the Harborgate Hotel, and I'd love to introduce you to them, let them see your work. I will be there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, I love discovering new talent. Hey, hey Matt. Why so dirty? Oh, I was helping Lloyd and Gus load scrap metal downstairs. Melanie called. Really? Yeah, she wanted to know what time the limousine was going to pick her up Saturday. Limousine? Fancy schmancy. <laughs> Mom, look, I know it seems a little extravagant. Extravagant? Matt, we cannot afford a limo. Tonight for dinner, we are having helper helper. <laughs> hey, I'm paying for it out of my own money. That money you've been saving is to buy a car, not rent one for the night. Well, there's nothing I can do about it now, Mom. You can pick up the phone and call Melanie and tell her we will pick her up at 8. I'm not going in a truck. Look, Matt, I just don't think a 15-year-old boy should be taking a girl around in a limousine. Well, I'm sorry, but I am. Joe even said it's my money and I should do what I want with it. Well, you may not have noticed this, but Joe is not your mother. Well, at least Joe is not trying to ruin my life. Oh, I haven't begun to ruin your life. <laughs> It says the teen years are the hardest. Oh, my back. I haven't lifted anything that heavy since lunch. No, thanks. I just ate. Oh, Joe. 
Any more junk before I go? Just that stuff over there in the corner, Gus. Gotcha. Thanks a lot, bud. Mom, can I ask you a question? Well, that depends. Are we alone or is Sid going to jump in? No. Sid's still in bed. He didn't get much sleep last night. Your meatloaf made him gassy. It'll pass. So, what's the question? Are you and Matt mad at each other? Well, we're having a disagreement. He thinks he's right and I think I'm right. Well, who is right? Well, it doesn't really matter who's right and who's wrong. But I'm right. Morning. Hi. Would you like something for breakfast, Matt? Like what, Mom? Baby food? Because I'm such a baby? No, oatmeal. Because you're acting like a horse is... Not in front of children. Mom, I'm taking Melanie to the dance tonight in a limo. Not if I ground you, pal. You can't do that. I just did. You said I could go. Don't use that tone with me. I use whatever tone I want. Sid wants to know if you can please keep it down. He's trying to get some sleep. Are you happy now? You woke, Sid. I'm not backing down from this, Mom. Matt, this isn't like you. We've always been able to talk. We've always been able to come to some solution. No, Mom. You've always come to your solution. I'm going, I'm taking her in a limo, and that's that. I just hate it when people fight like that. Well, you can hang out here until the storm blows over, all right, pal? Thanks. Ah! Where is it? Where's what? My sculpture. What sculpture? It was over by the door. It had tarp on it. The hubcap thing? The uh, junk man took it. Why? That's his job. He takes away junk. <laughs> Don't you know the difference between a piece of art and a piece of junk? What, are you culturally blind? Look, I'm sorry. I just wasn't thinking. Yeah, why would you want to break a 20-year record? <laughs> or or uh, maybe, just maybe, you know, you could have given me a hint, like uh, a big cardboard sign that said, Don't throw this junk away. It's art. Hey, it just so happens that an art dealer was about to buy that piece of junk. I don't think that's the piece he was after. I spent four months on that sculpture. I thought it was the best thing I ever did. I know how she feels. I had a calling book that Matt threw out. It has some of my best work in it. Okay, we'll have it done for you on Wednesday. All right, bye. Great, thanks a lot. The junk man just pulled up. All right, and we have to get this thing back before Lou gets in from lunch, so just let me do the talking. Fine. I'll only jump in if it looks like you need help. No, do not help me, okay? Right. Only if it's absolutely necessary. No, under no circumstances. Of course. Only as a last resort. No. Hey, Joe. Hey, Lloyd. You gotta give us back Lou's sculpture. <laughs> she worked so hard, and it means so much to her. We'll do anything. Anything within the limits of the law. My God, man! Don't you realize a person's feelings are at stake? <laughs> Why'd it take you so long to chime in, Lloyd? Wait, 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 wait. what are you guys talking about? That hubcappy thing? Yeah, we uh, tossed it by mistake. I'll say. I got that back to the yard, began looking at it. It really spoke to me. <laughs> oh, what did it say, oh, huh? Oh, you think I'm kidding, huh? You think I'm trying to hustle you? Well, let me tell you something. While I was unloading that thing, I caught a glimpse of my own puss right in the hubcap. And I realized all day long I'm surrounded by junk. And here, somebody put a little thought into it to make it a beautiful thing. So I decided to take it home, plunk it down in the lanai, right next to the chabacue. <laughs> I'll give you a hundred bucks for it. No way. hundred and a quarter. Get lost. It spoke to me. Okay, I can't believe I'm doing this. Gus. $150. You can't put a price on art. 200 I stand corrected. <laughs> Look, give me a hand, will you? <gasps> Thanks, Gus. Hey. Hey, uh, just got your sculpture back for you. Oh, thank God. Was it any trouble? Nah, nah. <laughs> Look, we're even, all right? So no more dirty looks. Okay, Roman. We're even. <laughs> Are you the artist? Yeah. Well, what is it the kids say nowadays? You go, girl. <laughs> Joe, 
Take a good look at this. Now, you still think this is worthless? Now, you know, I'm really beginning to appreciate the value of art. It would have been a real tragedy if you'd lost it. I had a coloring book once that my mom threw out. I had some of my best work in it. What are you watching, sweetie? Mrs. Doubtfire. That Robin Williams is my sugar now. And dress like a lady? Oy vey. <laughs> okay, that's it. No more Sid. What? Andy, you do know that Sid is make-believe. Yeah, Mom. I made him up. <laughs> but just because he's made up, it doesn't make him a bad person. Okay, I guess I just want to know why. I mean, why not a superhero friend or a space guy or something? I like Sid. He's nice. He's funny. But most of all, Sid listens to me. Is that it? Don't I listen to you? Well, there's been a lot of yelling lately. He means to talk about it. He said, don't fight. Play nice. Well, you tell Sid there's not going to be a lot of yelling anymore. And tell him that you can pretend with him any time you want. It couldn't hurt. <laughs> hey, look, uh, he asked me to pick up his tux for him, so uh, is he grounded or what? Give him the tux. Okay. Matt! Room service! Thanks. Gosh, they're cute at this age. <laughs> and so easy to love. Ah, oh, my feet! Rental shoes. Look, he just flexed his muscles, right? It's a guy thing. No, I know, I know. I just don't want to see him turn into that kind of guy. He did something stupid and he couldn't turn back. Ah, oh, chicken legs. <laughs> his pants are too short. Look, this is a big night for him. You two should be talking. I know, but renting a limo to impress a girl is against every value I ever tried to teach him. You've obviously never tried to impress a girl before. You've obviously never been a mother. Who invented this stupid darn... Oh! Cumberbund. Cumberbund. <laughs> I'm getting something to eat. So, am I grounded? Cleared for takeoff. I can't cancel the limousine. I know. I want you two to have a good time tonight. Oh, thanks, Mom. I mean, really didn't know the knot I had in my stomach. Me too, honey. I just don't think you have to try so hard to impress a girl, you know? Especially when you're so impressive all on your own. You're right, Mom. I just like Melanie so much, you know? I got carried away. I'm sorry. I know. You look so handsome. <laughs> that Melanie is one lucky girl. Thanks. Matt Boone! It's Melanie. Great. You look good. Thanks. Yeah. Hey. Well, it's not here yet, but, uh... Uh-huh. When do you call? Sure. I understand. Hey, no problem. Bye. Well, I'm gonna go downstairs and wait for the limo. Have fun, honey. See ya. Don't do it. Joe, she dumped him. He is dying inside. He'll live. But maybe he wants to talk to me. Trust me, he does not want to talk to his mother. So what's he gonna do? I'll tell you what he's gonna do. He's gonna do what any other guy would do. He's gonna get into that limousine, ride around Philly for four hours, think about what a jerk he is. Stupid, 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 stupid. Oh, hi, Matt. Did Limo get there yet? Duh, not yet. Why? Well, this is hard to say, but Ricky and I, we got back together, so I'm breaking our date tonight. Sorry. What a stupid, stupid... Idiot! 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 Oh, my God. It's out already. <laughs> Matt? What are you so dressed up for? Uh, I guess I can tell you. The girl my dreams... The one I've had a crush on since the seventh grade. The one I spent my entire life savings on to whisk to the homecoming dance, even though Mom told me not to, has dumped me. Exactly 13 minutes before launching. Mission scrubbed. Ouch. Well, on behalf of my gender, I apologize. Not accepted. I don't blame you. 
Well, you want to hear about my night? Was it really bad? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was supposed to have an early dinner with Mr. Russell Winslow and the owners of the Harborgate Hotel, but imagine my surprise when they don't show up and he invites me upstairs for a little room service. <laughs> don't mention something like that would happen. Yeah, he tried to warn me. The mob tried to warn me. 160 bucks for a limo. $175 for a dress. Hey, you think we're dumb? Joe paid 200 bucks for hubcaps and a transmission housing. <laughs> Joe did that? Well, that's my ride. You two ready to go? <laughs> oh, oh, no. No, no, she's not my date. Um, I'll leave you. You really do look nice. Thanks. I don't suppose you want to ride around for a while. I've never been in a limo. Maybe we could get something to eat. You know, I am sort of hungry. And then maybe you can stop at the dance. I'd love to. <laughs> Sid been lately? He's gone. Oh, that's too bad. No. He's in Florida visiting his son. He says the kid pays so little attention to him, he might as well be invisible. <laughs> well, I hope he's having a good time. He says it's hot, but it's a dry heat. Hey, shrimp. You just got a postcard. Who do you know in Miami? 